Right now, the world is basically in the middle of a second gold rush. But the thing is, it's not gold that people are actually after this time around. It's Bitcoin, the biggest, baddest cryptocurrency on the planet. But the thing about Bitcoin is that because it's a digital currency, you obviously can't just dig it out of the ground with a pickaxe. So to get a better sense of how cryptocurrency mining works, we're here in northern Washington to visit one of the biggest Bitcoin mines in the United States and to see what goes on behind the scenes. is the sound of 1800 servers computing. This is a mining facility. So we operate ASIC servers specifically for the Bitcoin blockchain protocol. As you can see, it's a warehouse environment. Our facilities manufacture about seven Bitcoin per day. The servers in this room do that by solving a difficult math problem called a cryptographic hashing function. In the simplest possible terms, they're solving a puzzle that's generated by the Bitcoin network. About every 10 minutes, a new puzzle or block in the chain is released. The reward for solving that puzzle is currently 12 and a half Bitcoins. Working together, all the Bitcoin miners on Earth unlock about 1,800 Bitcoins each day, and about four tenths of 1% of those are mined in this very room. That doesn't sound like a lot, but when we filmed this video, this Bitcoin mine generated about $70,000 a day. That's $2.1 million a month, all in this one room. These are ASIC processors, application-specific integrated circuits. The chip design is specifically to run the protocol that is Bitcoin blockchain. It's code, right? It's specifically a chip design to run that code at a much higher rate of speed. So what you have to understand about Bitcoin is it's a commodity. Most of the world doesn't understand it's actually code with an underlying technology value. Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are decentralized with every transaction being recorded in the blockchain ledger. Bitcoin mining is essentially processing those transactions and adding links to the blockchain. Each link in the chain created every 10 minutes contains about 2,500 transactions. It's held speculatively, okay? So how much money do you make every day is a function of not when we create it. It's a function of when we sell it. So what do we do? We manufacture it continuously. We hold it for when the price runs up and then we sell it. We take the proceeds and we expand our operation. Expansion is essential because as more Bitcoin miners come online and servers become more powerful, the puzzles become more difficult to solve. The Bitcoin mining algorithm continuously adjusts to keep the mining rate constant, one block in the chain, equaling 12 and a half Bitcoin every 10 minutes. And the Bitcoin algorithm only allows for the creation of 21 million Bitcoin, meaning the last Bitcoin will be mined in the year 2140. Why Wenatchee? Wenatchee is on the Columbia River. We are part of what's called the Mid-Sea Columbia string of hydroelectric dams. We have cheap, plentiful, green hydroelectric power right here. That means the cost of power is relatively cheap, about $100,000 a month right now. This facility is a two megawatt facility. We are building a 10 megawatt facility now, and we are breaking ground on a 20 megawatt facility, and then we also have eight megawatts worth of facilities under construction in two separate locations. And in addition to that, we are in the process of developing projects for another 80 megawatts, all at this time. That growth is essential because the world is in the middle of a Bitcoin mining gold rush. Profit margins can be 70% and higher for mining operations, and miners big and small are looking to cash in. If you can get tech infrastructure closer to the source and not have to build out all the distribution network, you drastically reduce the cost and the bottleneck. So we are building this emerging technology here in central Washington state because we're close to the source and we have a fiber backbone, an international fiber backbone that travels right through our valley. This region 
is naturally situated to be one of the international epicenters for this emerging technology we call blockchain. 